To truly appreciate where we are, let's start again at the very beginning. I'm definitely going to get more recognised now that I'm actually on TV. I'm almost a superstar, do you know what I mean, mate? And as long as I keep taking these protein shakes and that, and I keep, I keep going to the gym, I'm going to get further and further. My career's going to get, I reckon, quite high. Perfect fit because boxing provides all that up-close action. Fittingly, we have a new emerging middleweight star who provides plenty of action. For sure, the attention of this community. The question is, will he capture the attention of elite middleweights? This dude, as far as I'm concerned, this dude, as far as I'm concerned, Skip, won every round. He reminded everybody that we are talking about the sport of boxing. Not just fighting, but boxing. He reminded us, Skip, that boxing is an art. It's skilled, it's about hitting and not getting hit. It's about the things that you do to perfect a craft in such a way. Yes, it is. Skip, 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 skip. listen, excuse me. You can say what you want about Canelo Alvarez, but this boy went in there undefeated. He's got power in both hands. He's universally recognized as one of the best in the world, Skip. He just went against the best. As you've had a chance to watch 24-7, what have you learned about Floyd? Well, what have I learned about Mayweather? Well, he's overrated. He's absolutely pathetic, mate. Look, look at him. He's going to fail. Okay, one day he's going to come down. I'm telling you, that's very soon, if you know what I mean. He is pathetic. Absolutely useless. The press conferences and all the things leading up to this, and you've watched the show. I mean, has he gotten under your skin at all well, at this has point? Has he gotten under my skin? <laughs> no, mate. No, Ian. Not one bit. Like I said, he's pathetic. And I'll tell you something. We'll see you can fight, mate. Because I've got a really, really powerful left hook. I've got a game plan for Mayweather. See? Oh, like this, um, like I said before, in all my interviews, everybody had a game plan for Floyd Mayweather. I get so where do you see your career going from here? Let's go. High ambitions? Not really. I mean, I've already been speaking to Tony. Dave's all set enough number 50 victim on my list. I'm repeating it all the time that you guys don't forget about it. Stop it! A knockout win for Klitschko! Boom! That's what heavyweights are supposed to do. You got beat in the first round and, and there's nothing can be done about it. He's, he's come into the ring with good intention. Punching in the right position. Well, in listen the to this. Yeah, I know, but that, that's, that's the fans' perception. of It's not, it's what they see, David. Yeah. Time and he, again. Yeah, I know, but look. He's got in the ring, he couldn't do any more, do you know why? Because he literally had, had the rug pulled from under his feet. He didn't get a chance to get in that fight. And if you get caught cold in the first round straight away with a big shot like that, it's going to be difficult to come Can back Can he not from. do more because he hasn't got it? Um, and these boys need to get paid, and they do get paid. And I need to make a living as well, obviously I take my cut. I don't just do it for the love, I do love the sport and love my boys, but I've got to make a bit of money as well. So that's the way it goes. So when I found out about you know Tony taking away all my money and that all his contracts that made me sign, I went to the local newspaper so everyone would find out about it. I mean, yeah, you could say some of the money that was in my account from him shouldn't have been there, but... Are you sorry? No, no, I'm not sorry. Um, because really, like I said, in the grand scheme of things, I haven't done much wrong. Um, should, should I have got as much money for some of his fights than I did? Should I have took that percentage? Probably not. In my opinion, for what he's done, people like him are scum and they're weak.
and that's all we really got to say about it. But do you feel that it was appropriate to describe people as weak and scum when you don't know what the circumstances are? I do know the circumstances, trust me, Kay. I do know the circumstances. I've known that boy for years and look what Are you sorry? To me. Are you, do you want to apologise and you frankly you should know better than that? No, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. It is what it is. We're both partners and I've lost a lot of money as well, but no one ever thinks of that, do they? Help your cause, do you? We give you an opportunity to apologise for what happened. Maybe happen I don't out my case, Kay. Maybe I don't. But you put yourself in my shoes. Would you apologise? I don't think you would.